Howdy folks, coming at you again, Christmas time, hitting you with another good deal video. Today we're going to learn to animate um, different simple objects, and then we're going to learn how to animate a moving object. Okay, so here we are, here's our situation. Our little salmon character is trying to get out here, and it can't jump over this little pit here. We added a little kill zone at the bottom of it. We're all animated. That was last lesson. You can see, but I can't jump over this pit. I don't have the jumping power. I fall to my death because salmon don't like water or something like that. I don't have thought that far ahead. Um, so let's figure out how to put a little object up here. In this case, it's going to be a little salmon egg that I um, animated. And we're going to put it up here. So the salmon collects it and then it adjusts the jump power. Typical Metroidvania type stuff. So let's hit a new scene. We'll create a new scene here. I'm going to start with an area 2D, a collectible object. Then we'll be able to do the on body enter thing. And I'm going to add the collision shape. And that collision shape is going to be a capsule because that closely uh, matches what we're going to put up there. Saving into it. And then, just like we learned last time, I'm going to add an animated sprite. That's how we're going to do this one. And then it's going to say, well, you don't know what's going on with that sprite, do you? And sure enough, I don't. So I'm going to hit new sprite frames, click on those sprite frames, get this little thing down here, call it, you know, egg animation. And we're going to drag this in. No, we're not, because that's not how to do it. That just drags all of them in. We don't want that. That's going to be pointless. So instead, we're going to go to the slicer button, take the ones we want to slice. I've already done this, but it should start default something like this, where it's all uh, vertically sliced. So we're going to make, change the vertical slices to one, leave this at three, and I'm going to choose those three frames there, add those. Let's uh, adjust this collision shape so it's more, I guess it was more like a circle than a capsule. There we go. And we're going to go back to our animated sprite, sprite frames. And we're going to make sure that this is auto-playing. So what happens when we play there? That's not bad. We can also, uh, I guess I didn't show you this before, we can up the speed here. Maybe I want something more like six. And then loop it. That's what we want there. And so if we, let's call this uh, you know, salmon egg. Well, let's call it egg, egg power. We're going to use it to adjust our jump power. There we go. Okay, let's save that new scene of ours. Right, scene that maybe before. Uh, and let's go back to our level here. And let's link it in. So I'm going to link it in from the main. Link it in. Egg power. And let's put that over there. Okay. So now we should be able to collect this salmon egg. I mean, obviously that's not going to work yet because we haven't scripted the actual collection into it. There we go. But that's what I want to do. I want to be able to jump into it and collect it. Okay, so I think we've done this one before. Simple script. Uh, I don't need the defaults. I'm going to go for empty. And we're going to get the node on body entered. And we're going to say, just to make sure we're hitting the collider. And we are going to adjust from our globals. Remember, we made globals before. There's our global script there. And we want the one called jump velocity. Currently, it's set to negative 350. We are going to change that to negative 450. Well, let's not go nuts. Let's go for 30. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, and then it's just, it's just setting it. It's not subtracting anything from it. We're just resetting the jump power. You could make it that it adds another 130 to your jump power every egg you eat. And that would be a you know plus equals. Uh, but I'm not worried about that. Because all I want to do with this very simple one here is hide the egg after I collect it. Okay, so let's go back to our level. Should have, 
Should be auto playing there when we jump up there. I guess we can't quite see it yet. There we go. Auto playing. If I jump and collect, I should have mega jump power. There we go. And I should be able to make over that pit easy. There we go. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. I can even jump back up there. But I don't really love this sort of like little two platform system. It's kind of boring. So let's go ahead and fix that. And first, I'm going to go back into my tiles here. And I'm just going to erase these two. Oops, move it back up there. Erase those two tiles. And this, and instead, I'm going to make a moving platform. So here's a moving platform. So we're going to go here, and we're going to create a new thing. And we're going to create um, a static body 2D. And we're going to create an animatable body. So it moves across the scene. Okay. So what is it saying I want for that? A collision shape. Well, okay, fine. But I'm just going to do a quick, simple sprite for this. I have a sprite here, a moving platform sprite. To my inspector there. And I can move up this moving platform sprite into it. Focus on it with the F key. Zoom in, see how it's doing. Okay, fine. And let's add that collision shape. At the rectangle here. So this is going to be a little platform that moves across the thing. Okay. But this isn't enough for us. We need to select an animation player. This doesn't have an animation player. It's just an animatable body. So we're going to add an animation player to this. And this is going to allow us to do something in the in the thing, but I oh sorry, I don't actually want to create this here. Let's delete it here. I want to create this in a scene. So we're gonna call this moving platform. Okay, so we've set up a very basic moving platform. We're gonna go back to the level here and we're gonna make it move back and forth on here. So let's link it into our scene. Moving platform. Let's bring it down here. Start it sort of in the one side and we're going to add the animation player to this so what the animation player is going to do is it's going to give us a set of keyframes in this case transform positions that it's going to bounce between so let's go ahead and do that you do that in your scene because you're going to have a different position for your different pl um, different platforms later and things like that so you do it that way now this part confused me a lot with the player here, we have this current animation here, and it won't let us add anything the normal way. That's because for animation players, you add the animation with this button over here, down at the bottom where it says animation under this animation tab here after you select the animation player. So we go new, and we're gonna call this, let's call it one, moving platform one. And once we did that, you can see it turned the whole side of our, um, our inspector node, inspector um, thing over here into keys. And students that know uh, any kind of animation will know that the keys mean that there are key frames. Blender does a very similar thing using diamonds. And that allows us to select where we want things to start and where we want things to stop. So we can go into the moving platform now. We're going to go transform and we're going to key its first position here create and you can see it's it's selected a position keyframe that's the diamond okay and then we want it to come I want to go to the end of its animation we're going to go over here and we're going to key that keyframe in so now our animation should move it's only going to do it one time because that's all we've told it to do so we can come over here to the loop button now it'll loop. It'll totally be exactly what we want. Well, that's what we told it to do. We didn't tell it to bounce back and forth. So let's hit pause there, stop, and hit it again. And now it should bounce back and forth. Now that's a little fast for the way I want it to work. 
And currently the animation is set to be within one second. So I have to change the number of seconds here. Let's try two and then move that last keyframe to the end of that two seconds. There we go. I want this to be really easy because it's just the very first thing here. So I'm going to try three seconds, though that might drive me crazy. There we go. That's kind of more like it for us. And you can change, you know, the easing curve and all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, okay, so let's see if that works in our game. See if we can jump on top of this platform. It doesn't go anywhere. Why? We didn't tell it to start playing at the beginning. So same thing we do with our idle animation to begin with. We're going to hit this auto play button. Now it should work. Should start bouncing back and forth there. And I'll wait for my platform to come, jump on it, and then ride it across the scene to get my egg. Perfect. Just one more little thing here. Uh, you may want to be able to jump through the bottom of it. Um, and that's something you can actually change here. Uh, I believe in the collision shape, we can change to one-way collision here. And that will, should allow us to jump through the bottom of it. Just test that here. Might be hard without my extra jump power on, but that's how you do that. So you can do that with uh, a static platform like we've done here. You could do that with a animation. Um, instead of adding the sprite, you just add an animated sprite to it. That could be something you might want to do. You can do it with enemies. We'll be doing that with enemies later. Um, hopefully that helps you with your game. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.